Welcome to my new video, guys. Today I'm gonna show you how I created all the textures of my ambient sketch number 69 because it was requested in the comment section to do a tutorial on all the textures that I used in this ambient sketch. So I have to say that I use many presets and sounds that I've already shown in other videos of my channel. So I'm gonna list everything that you need in the description box so I don't repeat myself and because some people are new to my channel also. I don't want to cover each knob and each parameter because the video would be too long. So first of all, I have my compressor, my El Capistan delay, and my new neighbor wet stereo reverb on as my bass ambient sound. So it sounds like this. So this is my bass ambient sound already. And the first sound in this ambient sketch is the big distorted wash that I'm creating. And many people thought that it was a distortion pedal placed after the reverbs, but no, my distortion pedal is the atomic overdrive, the red pedal, and it is placed at the beginning of my chain. So it is before my reverb pedal and my delays and my reverbs. So contrary to belief, I can put my whole pedal board in front of the amp with my distortion before my delays and reverbs, and it still sounds like it's placed after it. It's because of my reverb setting that I will show you at the end. So first of all, let's add the atomic overdrive. I'm gonna do a close up. So my setting is to carve the mids a lot. Why? Because I am looping with myself and it's only guitars. So the guitar is a very mid-rangey instrument, right? It's not a bass, it doesn't have the sparkle and sizzle of a cymbal. It's very mid-rangey. So if I don't want to mask the other parts of my song, I'm gonna carve the mids on my pedal. And especially with the Atomic Overdrive, I can carve the mids that I want. And in this case, it's really the mid mids that I carved in it. And I also put the treble down a little bit so it sounds smoother, okay? So just with the Atomic Overdrive and my bass sound, it sounds like this. So you see, it's already very aggressive and atmospheric at the same time. But now if I want to play swells with it, the problem is that it's not long enough. I need my swells to ring longer. That's why I'm gonna add more delays and I'm gonna take the patch on my timeline that I recreated from Andy Othling. So once again, everything it's in, is in the description box. So I'm gonna choose its patch 0B and just hear how long they are now. And I can really shape the tone of how it's going to ring with my uh, reverbs and delays because my overdrive is placed before my volume pedal. So it means that if I do a very long sweep, it's gonna be more distorted as a whole. But if I sweep very fast and I put my pedal back up, soon after I did it, it's gonna cut a little bit of the dirt on the delays and reverb. Let's demonstrate it. It's not as distorted as if I just push my pedal and keep it. This one is very, very aggressive. So I can really monitor and choose how much of my distortion I want 
inside of my delays and reverb. And the last step to get this sound is to add my choir preset on the Strymon Big Sky. I really add it on almost all of my swells. It's my favorite patch on my Big Sky, especially for swelling, because it adds a choir-like quality and I find that it fits everywhere when you use this kind of effect. It adds a like a, a ha. Ah. So let's hear it without it at first, just with one chord. And now let's add the Big Sky and compare. So it's really that choir reverb setting that is the last finishing touch on this kind of sound. So the next sound is not overdriven, so I'm going to turn off this one. I don't need longer delays too. So this is just my first bank on my Strymon Big Sky. Basically it's a 100% wet reverb, so we don't hear the original guitar signal of my guitar and I add those drones on top of this distorted swell. I have a very good tutorial on it if you're interested. So by cutting my original guitar signal and just keeping the reverb, it sounds like this. So you get it fits really well with the distorted part because it complements. I play it once the big sweep starts to fade out. I add the drone so I keep the momentum going forward on my loop. And the last sound that I add is really the Dark Star River by Old Blood Noise Endeavors. Uh, it's really what's working the best with it. So let's have a close up on it. So the Dark Star is on crush mode for bit crushed reverbs. And uh, if I just play it like this, you will hear how this sounds. It sounds really chaotic because the intervals are not tuned. Control 1 and 2 are my intervals on the pedal. So I need to tune them a little bit. What I'm going to do is put the control 2 all the way to the left and I'm going to tune the first one. So the first one is pretty tuned. Let's tune the second one. So I find out, I don't know if it was on purpose from Old Blood, old blood let's, let's say O, B and E. From O, B and E, if you put the two controls roughly on the A of the dark and star, it's going to be pretty tuned for that. So it's not to be chaotic any, anymore with the different intervals. It's just now bit crushed. And to get that effect, I put the mix once again 100% up to only hear the bit crush reverb and not my dry signal on it. So now I added notes like this on my ambient sketch.
So it is a very unusual sound to get and that's why I like the Dark Star. You have many different kind of sounds that you don't get with any other kind of pedal. So it really adds to the, the feeling like you're in hell or there's a big storm happening or something like that because this is a, a, a kind of sound that really gets you nervous, you know? So it was the perfect sound to add on top of my already very dirty ambient loops. So that's it for all the textures that I created for my ambient sketch number 69. Thanks a lot for watching. Once again, in the description box, there are the timeline and Big Sky patches videos to tell you how I did them. So everything in the, is in the description box. And uh, don't forget to push on the notification bell to be notified about all my next videos, okay? Until next time, au revoir.